Hello and welcome back to our run as Sparta in Imperator Rome. We are the liberators of Greece. We are the protectors of the Hellenes. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well, so uh, that's good. Uh, we're just uh, doing a little bit of drilling. My manpower is looking um, spotless, <laughs> let's say. Uh, income's also pretty good, so I'm going to increase the size of my army now. You get uh, two extra heavy infantry. We're, we're going to get all of them. We're, we're going to get up to uh, the full 34, 36 stack. I can't remember which one I do. Uh, lose to corruption. I don't have any at the moment. Um, gain five popularity. Maybe we want to bribe somebody then. Who is the character in my court who has the lowest loyalty, which is this one? 35 on my general. Oh, shit, well, I can't do that, actually. Well, fuck it, that one's fine. We'll, we'll ignore it. At some point as well, I do want to go to war with uh, Gortina. Uh, which might happen fairly soon, actually. Yeah, I'll take some more taxes as well. If I attack Hayera Patna, I go to war with Rhodes, I go to war with Nosos, Gortina, Alicarnassus, and also the Nesiotic League, and I want to make the Nesiotic League a uh, vassal of mine, so that's a good idea. Um, Megara, we also want to attack. It'd be nice if they would join that defensive league as well, that would be pretty lovely. Although, yeah, no, my Gris expansion means I'm probably not going to be able to get you as a feudatory. Um, Thebes is a vassal. It's this guy that's annoying me, I, I forgot to uh, make you mine. Demanding subject transfer is not going to happen, but that is going to, of course, be the next war. Um, what else could I do? Well, I mean, I do want to go and take this, actually. So, how about we start with that, and where's my fleet? I've got 30 ships. Uh, we're going to need to save a little bit of money um, so that I can build, you know, the army. Extra six, eight guys, maybe some supply trains as well. Probably going to be about a 40 stack, um, I imagine. So, 10 extra ships is going to be uh, what the Doctor ordered as well. Uh, but let's start off with the heavy infantry, because, I mean, let's be fair, our heavy infantry, they're, they're pretty good. They are pretty good. Uh, why do they keep wanting me to gain corruption? Lose 5 stability, uh, I can gain some popularity, and uh, I can get Cult of Fortune until the end of the game. I don't feel like I need that, honestly. Get more heavy infantry, another heavy infantry, and we want one more. After a lot of political maneuvering and negotiations, we finally managed to force or convince all of our subject cities and vassals into accepting the agreement. As they are now all officially willing to become members of a new Peloponnesian League, we have to go through the restoration of the old infrastructure of the League and make sure it can be a robust entity that will not fall to foreign might. Very nice. Alright, that has also unlocked the League Capitals. So, the largest cities of the Peloponnesus have long and valuable history, playing important roles in their direct community. As we continue building our local infrastructure, we should focus our efforts on these urban centers. So, um, Ellis permanently gets minor League Capital. More pop cap, more building slots, more population output. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, Sparta, Corinthus, Argos, Mesen, Ellis. And Megalopolis all receive that. That's really nice. Done. There are several rich and valuable cities on the Peloponnesus with histories stretching back to time immemorial and founders born from the gods themselves. So they play important roles as urban centers and political centers for their minor neighbors and seem like the perfect choices for our infrastructure efforts. They will be the pillars upon which we build this league. Indeed, they will. All right. I still want to do this one. I oh fuck you, frigid. And then league infrastructure. I need another city. Another city somewhere in here. Oh, I didn't really want to make another city. Maybe Zacanthus or Zanti. No. Um. Epidaurus Lemera. No, absolutely not. I mean, we could do it in Gaithelion and then immediately turn it back into a um, farm <laughs> right again afterwards. 
that's doable. Uh, Petray might not be a terrible idea either. Uh, you can move. Actually, can I do it in... No. It needs to be in this region. Maybe I should have, like, annexed someone with a city here. Actually, they've none of them have got cities, so never mind. Maybe I could now annex Olympia. Start the integration of Olympia and turn Olympia into a city. Although it's a forest. Hooray is farmland and it makes wood. I could turn you into a city. Um... I don't have the money, of course, uh, but yeah, I am getting it. I, I will have the money, eventually. Uh, and then I want probably two more supply trains. Alright, we're going to save up some money now, then. Um, let us start improving opinion with you. I need to get to 190 so that I can make you uh, mine uh, again. You return to the fold. Two citizens or two slaves? Citizens, of course. Thieves wants my iron. I'm okay with this. Thieves Thieves has learned her lesson. Uh, Olympic Games come to an end with much rejoicing and celebration. Well, we didn't win, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. I also probably should get these ships up to uh, snuff as well. I need two more. That's eight. There's one. And one more, I think. There we go. All right. Now that that's done, we save for a city. Uh, I need a navy for the league, which means I need this one first, of course. Yeah. I mean, those are really good bonuses. And I need to do it. Western capitals, what's this then? I need Megalopolis to have uh, 30 pops and Ellis to have 30 pops. That's actually not too difficult. Um, wow, yeah, you need more buildings. Well, you're at 29. You're going to get a 30th very soon, so we don't need to worry about you. Ellis is going to get two more here, and it's growing another one. That's going to be done when? Uh, April 522. 12 years, Jesus. Um, that's going to be done 520. That's going to be done 512. I'm probably going to need to move some slaves around, which I really don't like doing. Six stability, yes please. Alright, the ships are almost all done now. Uh, what of it? Don't care about what you're doing. What's this? Nesiotic League is occupied by Aeropatra. Well, why? If I attacked you, I would not be at war with... The Nesiotic League. That's annoying. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of fine with them taking this, though. If they are able to. Uh, military tradition. What do we want? Military colonies, shipbuilding costs, heavy cavalry maintenance. I think we do want to just keep going down here. That light cav offense is going to be really nice. So is the heavy infantry maintenance and heavy infantry offense. So we'll just continue pushing down the center. That seems like the most reasonable uh, thing to do. And when do we want, or when when can we go back to war with um, with Phrygia? It's probably easier to check my own bruises. Phrygia, five, fourteen, three years. Okay, I think that's probably actually going to be the next war. We'll save up the manpower and then uh, we'll leave you for later after you've finished your bullshit over here. And against Phrygia, they're at war with Nabatea and Thamud. Down in uh, this area. So, we're going to have a pretty easy early time of it. Oh, does Phrygia... Phrygia owns this territory themselves. Which is actually really handy. Totally fine with that. Actually had no idea how they own that, but whatever. Aeropatra has three cohorts on Delos. Yeah, good luck with that. You're, um... You're not going to be winning the siege with that short amount. Uh, here, I'm going to go with some... You know, I'm going to have a look through these, right? What have we got here? Uh, morale of armies, court start and experience. Not terrible. Ares is a pretty good deity. Um, we've got Poseidon for ships, of course. Heracles. Wrong culture, happiness, and discipline. 
I do quite like. Uh, then we've got Apollo, Primary Culture Happiness, and Manpower Recovery Speed, also pretty nice. I do quite like Athena, Polyokos. The, the bonuses you get there are just really good. Um, Alright, so the Culture DOT, we've got Oratory Tech Investment as its um, passive, Primary Culture Happiness. If we took Athena, we get Monthly Political Influence and Research Points, that'd be nice. Uh, we could get Citizen Happiness and Civ Change, eh. Zeus is popularity gain and aggressive expansion change. We've got Taiki there, that's not really interesting. Pop cap for Hera and Citizen Happiness. Okay, Hera is definitely the one we're going to go with. And yeah, let's go Hera. Ooh, and we already have two things because it's in Argos. Very nice. All right, now for the economy, we've got Citizen Happiness and Commerce Income. Uh, that's that's not that's not bad. That's really not bad. Uh, build cost and national tax is really good. That's fucking awesome. And then Hermes commerce income and Freeman happiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to Hades. When I switch to Hades after our stability goes up a bit, probably. Let's just check the fertility gods. We've got Popcap, which is really really good. Uh, food modifier is also really good. Uh, we could switch to Popcap. And monthly wages for characters. I do prefer monthly wages to characters to the global monthly food. National pop growth is nice as well. I might go with Aphrodite here and Hades. But not just this second. Uh, oh yeah, as for our omen, I guess we'll go with uh, Apollo Carneos for now. Oh, what did I just do? Something just happened there. I don't know what I just did. Also, I need these to come back again, damn it. Shouldn't... Free oh, apparently we've got a favorited character uh, that I completely forgot about. She's 20 years old, she's married. That's probably why we favorited her, and it's too late. Uh, your son is not married. Hey, there's a 16-year-old. I don't care. Oh, fuck you. Well, debt it is. We have... Oh, we, we just bought some mercenaries. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, that's what I did. I just spent all my money on mercenaries by accident. Oh, that's shit. I, he's going to get here and he's going to make this a new territory, isn't he? Oh, the wanker. The wanker. Go away. We've now got negative 308 ducats. Oh, oh, no. Oh, all for a misclick as well. Oh, shit. Shit and tits. Alright, so you are... Losing food, right? You need to move somewhere else. What are you like for food? 32. Okay, that's good enough for me. A friend in need, I lose some stability. God damn, this is painful. Go to Sparta. You can go and drill in Sparta. You can get some food back. Lovely. We've got we've got positive balance now though, which is uh, just nice. Um, but still, I think spending a little bit of political influence on stabbing a pig might be a good idea. I'd take a couple of Lacedaemonians as well. We'll get another trade route going on. Over here, uh, you don't need food. What do you need? You don't actually need anything, so I guess just trade whatever. Good enough. Um, we've got here one trade route. You can have some, uh, not fish. You can have some cloth. Yep, seems decent. Over here, you can have some stone. Uh, Epirus, got two trade routes. Some wine, nope. Some, some vegetables. Yeah, vegetables are good. There we go. Uh, up here, we got three trade routes. Uh, some grain from Egypt, and, and how about some grain from Egypt, and, and how about some vegetables from Catinia? Very nice. 
Uh, then uh, we've got two trade routes here. Fish, no. Vegetables, no, because that's basically uh, Phrygia. Livestock, Aflagonia, eh, probably also Phrygia. Uh, marble from Egypt, sure thing. And I'm pretty sure that's all we can get. Step horses from Bosporan, yeah, sure, why not? Probably not going to have uh, step horse armies for quite some time, but uh, hey, it's, it's nice that we've got the option should it arise. Iron from anyone? No, no, uh, no, nothing. Ah, fuck it, we'll just get that for now then. Okay, that was a bit of a pain in the ass couple of uh, minutes of, of us fucking up. Fleet's looking good, uh, army's looking good. Um, if we wanted to attack Phrygia, he's allies with Tyrus, Paphlagonia, and Cyrenaica. Unfortunately, um, probably not a wise idea to attack. I mean, if I attack Cyrenaica, I'd actually have to get my navy down there. He's still got 114 ships, which is more than he had the last time we were at war, so not a good idea. There's just, uh, there's not really many options right now, I don't think. Of course, attacking Paeonia might be a good idea. Allied with Dardania. I don't really want Dardanian land right now. It also bring in Kavia. Uh, I suppose that could work, but no, no, no. We need to be focused. We need to be focused on Fridge. Polycarnassus is allied with the Nesiotic League. They're also in this big old hug box. I don't want to attack them until this war is over, so that we can get what we want. Heraclean Path. I can't afford that. Really can't. But morale of armies for 10 years. We're about to go to war. Oh, shite. Here's me trying to save up for a fucking city. Go on then. Give me the shitty event. No shitty event just yet. Yeah, I know, you know it's coming. Arcadia really needs more food. Oh yeah, I've got no money. <laughs> no sauce, no. Ooh, very nice. Gift from the gods. That's beautiful. Exactly what I needed. Uh, you need some grain. There you go from uh, Carthage. That works. So when do we attack? Uh, 30th of September 514. We need to liberate Etraria. And also, take this island that I don't have for some reason. Uh, we need a new Archisomat Phylax. You. Uh, my army no longer has a general. Uh, we'll just put ourselves on the army for now, just to get it drilled up. Um, but it's obviously not going to stay with us. Okay, he's getting food just slowly. Just, uh, just uh, slowly. Uh, we can also start the integration of Olympia. Which, of course, is going to be a grand city um, built to to house the Olympics. Makes makes sense. And it's also, you know, got the uh, the statue of Zeus here, so it just makes sense to, to have a bustling city beside it. And very nice, very nice. Um, we can get another import here. What do we want? We don't have horses here? What? We're going to need to fix that at some point. Um... Now, though, I guess we can get some cloth from Judea. Uh, I can send son of the... Oh, yeah, I can send my son. Yeah, go go Olympic. Uh, June. All right, we're almost, uh, we're almost there now, so you can stop doing that. You can start doing... Eh, fuck it, you're probably fine. Uh, what is it? The Aegeids. Okay, I don't want to get you into my family because you're my general and that never ends well. Uh, you're a Calistrid, Zosimid. You are a Calistrid, Calistrid. Uh, what about in my government? Minor character. Well done, you're now an Aegeid. We'll just get our troops in position. Bountiful harvest. Ah, money! I like money. Money's great. Inventions. Is there anything I really like? I like build cost. Wrong culture group happiness. I like. Pop growth. I like. And now I'm out of money again. 
Woe is me. So yeah, if I attack you, it's probably going to be our best bet. Is there anyone you're guaranteeing? No, it doesn't look like it. You've just got a bunch of subjects. You're integrating Cappadocia. Oh god. Damn it. Alright, well, fuck it, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, 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 not sending you money. I need my money. I'm, uh, I'm going to be fighting a war now, so... Sending people money that isn't me is, is not a good idea. So, anyway, let's declare war upon Phrygia for you, boya. All of my vassals, apart from, uh, you know, a vassal. Uh, Gortina won't join, but I don't really need him. Fingers crossed, fellas. Fingers crossed. So, <laughs> with, with our marching orders sent what i'm going to do here is take a short break here uh, i want to thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did feel free to click the like button let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one where we are going to be fighting phrygia again yay